Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. It's your boy Kalagoy Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. We're gonna start this episode by going to bed as we usually do. Well then. An internationally known enemy. I hope we can figure out a good way to fight back. Let's sleep. I've been here all the time, baby girl. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about Medjit. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, huh? They're an international network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subway company's server thing? <laughs> that was Medjit. So they're the good guys. Ugh, no way. It's going to be interesting to find out more about this Medjet group. Oh, our grades are out. How did you do? Damn, son. I'm dead. Whew! I'm above average. Still gonna get that whipping, though. Ah, oh, that's the real dividing line. My allowance is safe for now. I wonder what score I got with my scholarly ways. I finished a little higher than the average score. Hm. Well, it should set a good example for your friends. Why did my charm go up? All right. Uh, we were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my score suck, right? You're right, dog. Nah, it's your fault, son. Oh, you don't gotta throw the truth in my face like that. Wait. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima, if you would. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. And I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <sighs> ah, you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. Let me see. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted Karagol about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It will be the Phantom Thieves world debut, no? Come on, dude. Don't worry, I'll be rooting for y'all. I'll get the forward mobilized as well. Now, if we don't talk in here, I really must get going. I'll see you guys later. <sighs> so that was fruitless. I wonder if anyone else got any info. Mishima was pretty useless as always, man. Y'all got anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about them. Well, she doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. Well, maybe we could check with uh, Goro Akechi, huh? There really are just no leads. Hmm. Our opponent is truly elusive. <sighs> no luck. Medjet. Hmm. It seems like we won't be able to deal with this by ourselves. Yep, yep. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. Summer has been cancelled. Huh? We will be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down, you bitches! 
We've had many strange incidents, psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. This is an inconvenient thing for us too, you know? Having to find out things to warn you about so suddenly? Corporate terrorism? Nah, man, I'm not sure about this. That's a nice word, conglomerate. Yeah, there you go, that's the reason. You nailed it, son! <laughs> Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. Who's on Medjid, huh? Some text messages here. Who wants to hang out with us? What is it? No, not yet. What's your deal? Um, sure, head to school. I am at school. Oh. Sure, I got you, I got you. Let's do this. And Karagolkun, I'm pretty heavy, huh? Thanks for the help. Hey. Isn't Karagol super reliable? <laughs> Just like you were telling me. We're so high up. Why did you want to come here? I think to settle things. To tell you the truth, I wanted to reenact that moment. Wearing these clothes, standing here again. I wanted to know what it would be like, you know what I mean? What it would feel like. What about back then? What were you thinking then? I... I didn't want to die. I just needed to escape. It was like another person inside of me was screaming, telling me to come up here. It almost felt like that person was trying to kill me. Oh. But I know that person was a part of me too. My weakness. So I wanted to see if she would show up again now. And she's gone, isn't she? Yeah. She doesn't exist anymore. You're so strong, Shiho. The only reason you can stand here now is because of how hard you worked for your rehab. Maybe. But that was all thanks to you too, Anne. Huh? Me? Because I saw how hard you were trying too. Trying to be strong, to be cool. Wanting to be an action star, striving to be a better model. You were so positive, your eyes sparkled with motivation. With you putting that much effort in, I just couldn't let my life go to waste in a hospital bed. That's why I wanted to stand again. It was because of you. Being able to change others, that's what true strength is. Shiho. I'm not strong fam. I'm nothing without y'all. I'm just a lonely scared girl. And I'm sorry for deciding to transfer schools. That's great, and that's that's great. That way you'll be able to keep seeing me and keep giving life your all. I'm gonna be in a bunch of magazines and I'll say tons of good stuff in interviews. So, so, stay healthy, alright? Work hard, but not too much, and keep in touch. Don't be a stranger. Just take care of yourself, you know what I mean? 
Aww. Once I can smile again from the bottom of my heart, I'll come visit. Hey. Hey. I need to be number one model around. I made a promise with Shio, so there was no turning back now. I'm gonna study how to properly exercise and even relearn how to walk the runway. I wanna pick up on some other languages and cultures too so I can start doing overseas events. Because well, the only way I can help Shiho is to show her how hard I'm working. Oh, hang in there, yo. Yeah. Uh, if I can do that, Shiho, she will definitely... Damn it! I told myself I wouldn't cry, but it just won't stop. I should choose my words carefully. I guess I'm alone again, huh? All right, fam. Listen here. This choice right here. This choice right here. If you choose, you have me. You will begin a romantic relationship with Anne. If you choose B, you will. Keep having a platonic friendship with her. We are going to choose. You have the others. We're going to be platonic with this girl. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I have our team now. There are people suffering out there just waiting for us to save them. That's why I need to do my best. Not just for our team, but for everyone who needs our help. <laughs> Cargo, let's do this together. Hey, all right, rank nine, baby. Bye, deuces. Smider. Even his form is unattainable, you say. An unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. What? My man just said wait and you're going deeper into this shit like fundamentally speaking ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile and my boy is like, my name is Ryuji, right? Uh huh. Was it really? Was it really? Aren't you bored? Nah, man. Don't show me nothing. See my text messages. Do you have any news? Man, you've been you've been on standby for quite some time now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not messing with you right now. Let's holla at Chihaya, man. Let's see what she wants. After you close up shop. Alright, alright. Let's do that. Let's do that. <sighs> Karagol, honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate, right? I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But, I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? You're only realizing it now? It's not that. I just need some time to accept the reality. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed or not. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature. Eternal. Impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um. How can I become one of those people, Kalagol? Huh? She. You need to trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself? Instead of my fortune telling? 
I've never thought of it that way before. This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Caragol. It was a small traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Tell me more, cause that sounds suspiciously a lot like Inaba. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you, tell you volumes. <sighs> this, the youth there are forced to strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Small shrine in the center of the village. There I... Wow. Are you referencing Inaba right now? Was Chihaya in Persona 4 maybe? I don't remember. Hmm. Whoever. What the fuck was that? What did you... I'm not sure I follow this time. Don't worry about it, just forget about it, yeah? Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. It all depends on you. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I can manage to change my own fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. Right. All right. Well then. You're welcome. Until next time. Deuces. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Interesting. Fam. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just by walking a little bit. I didn't think Medjet would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of Karagol Army knows no bounds. I underestimated, honestly. How did you know the name Karagol Army? Huh? Hey. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained. I see. A luxury for the uninvolved. So this is what the public thinks. Whoops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Get it.
who have they attacked thus far? Buzzing earlier. Yeah, thanks, cat. I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet ya! I am the one they call Alibaba! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, are you not? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Midget, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? Shut up, cat. Who it is? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply yeah, back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Word. Can we, can we get an IP check on this motherfucker, man? What's poppin'? Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. Or he may have fucking listened to Ryoji just screaming out the fucking Phantom Thieves every single opportunity he gets. How careless of us. How would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Maybe you should stop talking then, huh? Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? We're in deep doo-doo, that's what it means. An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Anyone mind if I zip this bag up? Huh? Then, is this person Mejet? Mejet? Is the D silent? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey! Wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. Yeah, there's something he can gain by not snitching on us right now. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. Oh, god damn it, here we go again. How about LeBlanc? The C is silent? Also, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> what's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm, is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. Now the interesting thing here is, will he react on the last name? Because Sa has been harassing this guy, right? She's our student council president. Nijima. There you go! Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. Nobody calls you boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. You opened my shit? Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late-breaking news on Medjet, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Ah, oh, that's rich. Medjet also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjet as they arrive. What, well, they want some fries with that too? Come on, it's in English. Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. What? We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. I wish a motherfucker would try to confiscate anything. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? I guess we can use that to lure them out. Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. But why? That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. I'm not so sure about that. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Oh, that's rich. Okay. Oh, wow. That was sent straight to me, though. Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? Do we have any cameras outside? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. I stick at that joint. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kanashiro case. Those on the other side say Medjet are hackers of justice. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday, I want the whole site to be filled with pro Thieves comments. Not yet. I 
guess the E is silent in that one too. Shep shifter. Mm. I don't know, dog. I don't know. Uh, can I make some... I hate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess I gotta go to bed now, right? Let's go to bed. <sighs> we don't have nearly enough intel. All we can do is wait for them to make a move. Wait, don't sleep yet. Let me save Let's my game. It. There you go. Why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're gonna do to us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish they would stop that. Did Alibaba message you? Come on. It's just Ryoji. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, alright? Come on! Good day! Who this? Ah! You responded today! Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? Who are you again? I already said, I am Alibaba! <laughs> I take it you received the calling card! So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Who are you? I'll answer that question as many times as is necessary. I am Alibaba! <laughs> Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Who is? I'll keep answering if you insist on asking. I am Alibaba. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Hey, hey. Tell him. We need the name of the target. I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who are you? Oh, now, now it's an error message. For real? And Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. Let's do it. Meeting time. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Sojiro Sakura? What?! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Very, but that's not relevant here. Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Am I related to Futaba? Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. 
I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. He's smoking inside? Hmm. What's up? Why do you know about that? It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Nah, sucker, you need to answer some questions here. Well, okay, I guess not. Looks like it's a hit. Stop calling him that. Where have you been? Been searching all along. Can face it while I know. Be cautious of magic. All right. Well then, I guess we gotta go to bed. Can we do anything? No. Mm. Sleep. Hide in both face and mind. I'll free for you to draw. I'm a chef shift. Yo. What up? Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got the, all this lame shit coming up. Wow. Maybe. Wow. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over the break, alright? Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district and don't go into the beach after dark. I wanna go to the beach. I wanna jump in some cold water. Really, cat? You wanna jump in some cold water? Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Mm. All right. And there's a lot of Yeah, that's not it, I don't think. Alright. What you got over here? What the fuck? see 
You got a package for full tower? Oh. Okay. So where else could we that buy food? Look like it'll work. And he's gonna blow us off again. Ooh! You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Damn! Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Science? What's that? Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! Yeah, you really showed her, boss. That woman is real good at pissing people off. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? Yeah, it might be time for you to spill the beans. This doesn't involve you. Uh, that's enough. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the Chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Kizuna Fest? Well, let's go to bed, man. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? We don't know if he is abusing her. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I would like to believe so as well, but... We don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? I have given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. 
Why aren't you doing it? I told you I would help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I would report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. No, you're not. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Palace? What are you talking about palaces for? That has nothing to do with this conversation. Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue at hand here? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Are you Futaba? He can't go out? Is that even a he? No. Nah. Nah. Mm -mm. We're far too deep now. Nope. 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 Operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it. Meh. That's awesome. We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah. Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? <laughs> I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? I mean... Sure. Then it's decided. Alright, we'll go tomorrow night. Something's not right about this, fam. Where have you been? Been searching all along. Is that is that uh, Kaneshiro's pig statuette back there? All right, and I think this is a pretty good spot to call an episode, actually. Next episode, we will celebrate like kings and queens up in here with some sushi. Until then, this has been your boy Kadago Gaming. I'm out of here. Deuces. Love y'all.